Hi and welcome back to Comic Book Corner. This is number five and we're going straight into it with a brightest day number three. Um, what can I say about this that I haven't already said? It's slow, it's fragmented, it's directionless. I mean, when you put on the front of your cover, why have they returned? and not actually answer it inside, it just makes it so redundant. I mean, I don't know what Johns is doing here, I really don't. It's just fragmented storylines from all the good guys that were resurrected in Blackest Night, and they're just so small snippets of what's going on that they just make no sense, and they stop the natural flow of what could possibly have been a good story. Um, maybe they shouldn't have made this a huge big, well when I say huge it's not as big as Blackest Night was, but this new Brightest Day mini, why didn't they just do some offshoot minis, the Boston Brand story, the um, the Aquaman story, do maybe one or two issue stories of why they're here and what's going to happen and then do an end type where they all come together or whatever's going to happen. I feel like I'm far too into the the series now. I mean I think there's three more to go. I might as well keep going but I'm not expecting much from this. If you've not already started picking the, this up, don't bother. Um, Greek Street number 12. Bit of an abrupt um, change to Greek Street. It's the start of a new story arc. This is um, Ajax's storyline and we are thrown into basically, it looks like the Afghan war really. Um, one of the guys over there has come back home as a hero in all senses of the word I guess, but he seems to be haunted by what looks like another character from Greek mythology, that being Ajax. Um, it's still good for Greek Street, I mean the storyline really um, really about the brutality of war and, and the mistakes people make. Um, still enjoying it, pick it up. Justice Society of America number 39. <laughs> Is this title, or I should say the story arc, ever going to end? I mean, we're up to number chapter 4 of this Fatherland um, story arc, and we're no closer to the very end. I mean, this, seriously, I don't know how this is. I presume the next one is going to be the end. Christ, please don't make it last another two parts. Because they really have padded this. I mean, Willingham, love him in Fables. He's a great storyteller in that. He's, his genre, that genre is very well suited to the way he writes. But here... I don't know, he just seems to want to explain everything that's happened previously. Well, like, we don't care. We already know all the superheroes have been depowered, they're in concentration camps. This Fourth Reich are running basically the world, or trying to. And Mr Terrific has, over many, many years of being incarcerated, has picked up lots of information, and they have this new plan to break down the um, this darkness engine and put everything back right again. So, I mean this could have been done in three issues. Set up, the plan, the execution, but a bum. It's done! But padding, padding, padding. It's not that it's not fun, it's not that it's not nice to look at, I mean it's all very exciting this issue with the whole battle to get to the darkness engine and then we're left on a cliffhanger, has it all been for nothing, I won't spoil anything, but move on, move on. And finally this week, thank God for Red Robin, number 13. 
Fabian comes on the title taking over from from Yost's 12 issue run all a bit worried even though apparently Fabian did really well when Robin was an ongoing title and there's nothing to worry about at all this was fantastic please if you're not already picking this up get the trade which I'm sure is about to come out if it's not already out and then pick it up from Fabian's run on this on this title it's just fun oh the best thing I like about this is just not just Red Robin on his own he's still firmly placed in the Bat universe we've got Batman Dick Grayson and we've got Robin Damien uh, still firmly entrenched in Red Robin's Robin's life in the Bat universe and you know it's, it's full of humour there's some fight good fighting action scenes um, some intrigue and it's just such a good read. I hope this keeps going for a long, long time once um, the real Batman comes back. I am so excited with this. Pick it up. And it's a very short one for me this week. That's it. Please subscribe, rate, comment down below. Tell me what you think I should be reading. Um, what you think of the reviews that I've done. Um, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you next week with another issue of Comic Book Corner.